In this analysis, we will delve into the impressive victory of Dmitry Bivol, the Russian light heavyweight champion, over Jean Pascal. The fight took place in the main event on one of HBO Boxing's final broadcasts, solidifying Bivol's position as an elite light heavyweight. Before the fight, during the weigh-in, Jean Pascal attempted intimidation tactics by headbutting Bivol. Despite this act of aggression, Bivol showcased his professionalism and maintained his composure. The fight was a one-sided unanimous decision, affirming Bivol's position as the WBA light heavyweight champion. While it wasn't a knockout victory, Bivol demonstrated his dominance, with Pascal struggling to offer a competitive response. We will go through each round of the fight, highlighting the key moments and actions that define the course of the bout. Let's examine the significant moments of each round. In the 12th round, Pascal made a final burst, but it wasn't enough as Bivol controlled the round, concluding the fight with a decisive advantage of 120 to 108 on against the Alice scorecard. In reality, he won a unanimous decision. It wasn't even a question. Uh, it's important to note that this was Bivol's last fight on HBO, a channel that traditionally broadcasted many significant boxing matches. Now, new horizons opened up for him. He was able to sign with Dazen and Eddie Hearn. He was ready to face challenges in both his weight class and super middleweight. Let's look at the punch statistics. Bivol demonstrated a high hit rate, landing 32% of total punches and an impressive 44% of power shots. In contrast, Pascal only connected with 17% of total punches and 23% of power shots, highlighting the difference in efficiency, but he still displayed his effectiveness. Comparing it to previous matches, it's evident that he hasn't lost his edge. New opportunities for bouts are now available for Bivol. He has expressed interest in moving to the super middleweight division, presenting exciting prospects for fights with prominent champions in that weight class. But what he ended up doing was fighting Joe Smith Jr. It was worth noting that Bevel displayed his characteristic fighting style in this match, remaining calm and focused throughout. His control over the distance and ability to analyze his control over the distance and ability to analyze the opponent's actions played a key role in this victory. Dmitry Bivol is gaining popularity in the boxing world. His technical mastery and unmatched professionalism are catching the attention of not only fans but also fellow boxers. Jean Pascal's experience in the fight was evident but not decisive. Bivol showcased his skills, finding counters to each of Pascal's attacks, underlining his technical superiority. Dmitry Bivol not only secured victory, but also earned the audience's respect. His professional approach to training, ring mastery, and the willingness to complete. His professional approach to training, ring mastery, and the willingness to compete with the best make him one of the most intriguing and promising boxers of his weight class. By triumphing over Jean Pascal, Bivol demonstrated his ability to handle experienced and renowned fighters. At the time, people were thinking about him fighting Adonis Stevenson, Alexander Usyk, Elider Alvarez, Sergei Kovalev. But still, the fight that people are talking about now and they talked about then, when Bivol fought against Pascal, is a potential fight against Artur Bitirbiev for all four belts. Bivol has expressed interest in moving up to the super middleweight division, opening up exciting opportunities for matchups with boxers in that weight class. Potential fights with these champions promising. Potential fights with these champions promise thrilling encounters and new challenges for Bivol. Dmitry Bivol is a bright boxing star, and his future is full of prospects. Despite some difficulties in this fight, he continues to conquer the summits of his weight class. We eagerly await his career and anticipate new exhilarating bouts. Bivol has conveyed his readiness for challenges, stating that his team will choose any opponent for him. This shows his willingness to face the best and demonstrate his mastery in the ring. We'll be watching to see who the next challenge is for this talented boxer. So that's why you don't mess with Dimitri Bivol, and why you don't try to headbutt fighters at weigh-ins. Against the odds, signing out.